everybody. Welcome to Viking versus Food. Uh, it's a new channel I'm starting. Um, if you came from my other channel, uh, Viking MTG, where I do uh, gaming gaming reviews, uh, video games, Magic the Gathering mainly, um, and video games and all kinds of other stuff. Um, been pretty successful there. Things are taking off, and uh, I wanted to start uh, a food channel. Everybody loves food. I love food, and I'm going to call it Viking vs. Food. Um, so um, I'm going to do cooking, uh, food reviews, MRE reviews, ration reviews, all kinds of stuff. Um, it's going to be a wide variety of content on this channel. Um, everything to do with food. Uh, I will do cooking. Uh, like I said, uh, today we're going to start with one of my favorite things. Um, well, certainly wasn't my favorite things to, favorite thing to eat on a regular basis in the military. Uh, but I did, uh, did eat a lot of them. There you go. We're going to go with uh, Menu 22 today. Asian style beef strips with vegetables. Uh, the inspect date on this case is 2020. I got these MREs from a guardsman um, here in town. Got them for next to nothing. Uh, almost nothing. Uh, he got them off his, uh, he got them at drill a week ago. Less than a week ago. Uh, they're brand new. Uh, and I paid 20 bucks for two cases. Which is an unbelievable price. Uh, but I know the guy. Uh, He's actually getting ready to retire. Um, he's active duty guard and getting ready to retire. And I, I served with him when I was in the guard after the Navy. Um, I served in the Army Guard and then I got out in 05. So um, I don't see a date on here. There, The dates are on the inside. So let's go ahead and crack her open. See what we've got. I've got some hot water on the stove in case we need it. I've got a uh, water ready to go, nice filter water ready to go. Um, I'll give you some tips on these. Uh, these are certainly not something you want to eat. That's all right. I'm not gonna. I hate trying to open them that way. They just don't peel open easy. This is the easier way. Just a clean slice right here. And if you decided you wanted to display them, or if they're a rare MRE. You cut them like that, and you can uh, still display them. You can cut them like that from the back side, then you can still display the front, and it looks normal. But I'm not going to display these. There's no uh, display value to the new MREs. The old stuff, yeah, uh, but nothing new. So they always come, uh, the new MREs always come with an internal wrapping as well. These are heavily sealed. I have honestly never opened an MRE and had anything busted. I think one time I had the salt packet had torn and spread around on the inside. Uh, but that, it won't spoil anything and it won't, salt won't rot. So, uh, unless you get it wet. Uh, so we have the main, Asian style beef strips with vegetables. And this is actually a pretty good main. Uh, there's nothing nasty in it doesn't have the Chef Boyardee taste that a lot of the pastas do. It's just straight up meat and Asian sauce. Uh, we have mixed fruit. This is a good one to get. It's just like home style mixed fruit. Uh, it's always a good, uh, this is a newer one, uh, but they're always good. They used to have these um, when I was in. Uh, this would be an occasional thing, but the majority of the time it was applesauce. And the applesauce was okay, unless they did the weird ones, raspberry applesauce and stuff like that. Then it got odd. We've got our accessory packet. Sadly, no coffee. Oh, that kills me. No coffee. I love MRE coffee. We have the wild berry Skittles. And thank goodness these are not rock hard. As you can see, when they packed these in 2017, uh, last year, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 was just coming out. So a little time capsule there. A, uh, a chunky peanut butter, which to some people this is gold, but to me, not my favorite. I got big gaps on my teeth, unfortunately, and a couple of them, not just the ones in the back. And it, uh, I get chunky 
peanut butter down in there. We got uh, so I end up flossing right after. We got cocoa beverage powder. This is always good. Uh, the only problem with cocoa beverage powder uh, from any MRE, I haven't had it from these new ones. I'm kind of excited to try some of these new ones because they are they do change the recipes over time, and they've done a lot to try and spruce up MREs to reduce the constipation. To be blunt, you get constipated eating MREs, and you get MRE farts being blunt and they are stank they are nasty um, but you generally don't get that off eating one um, every now and again or go out camping and eat them it's when you're in the field for two weeks and you're eating these 90 percent of the time everybody gets stanky and it gets really bad uh, we have wheat snack bread which is never a bad one to get should go well with the uh, Asian stir fry I'd almost rather have the Asian noodles, I'd almost rather have the uh, tortillas. It's almost like, uh, what's that? Mugu shrimp, Mugu, I can't remember what it's called. The, uh, the Chinese food that comes with the little thin little uh, pancakes, I can't remember what it's called. But... Mushu, Mushu pork. We have a uh, strawberry jam, this is gold. This is gold. The strawberry jam is amazing. Uh, it always is. So I'm excited about this. This is a great item. We have the nutritional facts. Uh, you will always have the nutritional facts on everything you eat in an MRE. Um, this mixed fruit is actually not bad at all. It's got just a moment. Water's going off. All right, I'm back. Had to pull the uh, hot water. So got our uh, scalding hot water there, right off the stove. Let's get this out of plate. I'm not gonna steal Steve MRA 1989's uh, line. Let this get out onto a tray. Let's get this on a plate. see it is actually a lot of food when you uh, put it all together it's a lot of food uh, when you look at the packaging in an MRE if you're not used to them uh, the packaging looks real small you're like wait is this an actual how much food is this but once you get it out of the retort pouches everything kind of expands everything looks is a lot bigger than it looks let's look at our accessory packet Never went through our accessory packets. So we have lemonade, beverage based lemonade. It's actually good. Um, it's just like uh, well, any instant lemonade you buy off the counter. We have our toilet paper. That's what this actually is. Uh, if you've never felt it, it's soft. It feels just like toilet paper or Kleenex. You can use it as either. I highly recommend if you're out camping. And you don't have any TP, it does actually double really well as TP. It can also be used as Kleenex or a napkin. Uh, and these are, like I uh, said earlier, these are great for camping. Uh, camping, hike, backpacking. Uh, they're excellent. They're quick, easy food. Uh, you can heat them up with the retort pouch, or you can heat them up on a stove, uh, whichever way you want to do it. And if you have a case of MREs, there is something in every, every MRE for everybody. And as far as after effects, you know, you're going to get most of your negative after effects in an MRE from the cheese. The cheese spread will give you gas galore uh, and back you up. But And the bread sometimes can as well. I've found the bread can kind of hit you. But the mains and the fruits and the jam and the peanut butter, all never going to do anything bad to you at all. I've eaten all of them individually and uh, kind of seen how they take, you know, in, in the military, I ate all of them on their own to see how they did. And they all worked great. You know, they, none of them hurt me unless I eat cheese. Cheese, especially if it's a little older. Uh, I had an MRE that was past the inspect date a while ago. 
and everything seemed fine, but the cheese, if you have to mix the cheese up to get it to the right consistency and it's not a smooth, solid, you know, smooth cheese, you're going to have bad aftertaste and you're going to get some gas from it. But if it's fresh, it'll affect you just like eating any, you know, processed cheese. So, this is your thermal stabilized retort. Uh, uh, re this is your, um, sorry, this is your uh, ration heater. So, this is the whole thing. You've got this little pack in here, if you've never seen one of these. Um, this is your heating element, and it reacts to water. It's from Luxfer MagTech Inc. And uh, these are very standard. These have been around for, what, 30 years now? Been using them since the mid 80s uh, when they switched from C rations to MREs. Early 80s, I believe, we did it. If you see uh, Steve Emery, 1989's channel, uh, he's got the entire history of MREs. He uh, opened everything back to a Civil War hardtack ration, uh, which is unbelievable. And he actually ate the. the Hard tack bread. Um, he's eaten just about everything there is. Some amazing. I, I'm a history buff. I love history. Uh, if I could do history for a living, I would. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's not much of a living in it. So, what we want to do, open it up. What I actually like to do, if I'm doing two things at once, which I'm not, is I'll pull the heater out. I'll stick it between two pouches if, there, if there's two things to heat, which there's not in this MRE. And I'll put it in there. But if it's just one item, pop it in there. Okay. Sometimes they get a uh, bowed at the bottom and they're hard to get to slide in there. That's what she said. Uh, so let's go ahead and make this fit. For some reason this one's harder to slide in than most giggity. It in there, slide it in. There we go. And you want to make sure you don't curl up the heating element. Uh, it's a real good way to make sure it doesn't get hot. So, let's got it in there. Take your salt packet. This is the way to ensure your main gets hot. Especially you want to do this if you're doing two items at once. If you have a cobbler, a lot of these come with a cobbler, uh, stuff something like that that goes along with it. If you have the uh, mashed potatoes that go with some of the meat entrees, uh, you can throw that in there. Uh, it really, really just makes the MRE heater work twice as well. And if you're, sometimes you'll get an MRE ration heater that doesn't do anything. Great, just spilled a bunch of salt. I'll have to get the uh, get the old mini mini vacuum. Um, you'll have one that doesn't do anything. If that happens if you don't get any heat out of it or barely does anything. You go get that whole packet of salt, dump it in there. There's plenty of salt in the food. Trust me. Very rarely is an item you'll need salt for. And if you do need salt for it, it's probably too old, and it's lost a lot of its ump because it's so old. And you should probably not eat it. Alright, so we need a little more. we got to fill it to the line. We also want to make sure we do not overfill these. It is so important not to overfill these. That's how you blow up the, the ration. It just will stop working. Plus, it'll make a huge mess when you go to pull it out. So we're going to shake it up. Shake it up real good, so I can already feel it kicking up with the salt and everything. It's shaking the water up in there. Um, just wait, it'll get fire hot. Where is our pouch? There it is. So we take our little cardboard sleeve here that came with it. also got the nutritional facts. Just go ahead and don't read them if you're going to eat it. You don't want to know the sodium content, believe me. 
pop that in there just like that. Curl one corner back, but do not close it off. It needs to steam. It's extremely important that it steams. You want the steam to escape. So we're going to go ahead and set this aside. And if you listen, if it's catching it, you can hear the reaction. It's really cooking. I can set it in the sink to, uh, to heat up. That's going to heat up real well. You can tell just by the, the level of heat it's going to uh, it's going to cook. I mean, I'll, when you put the salt in there, it'll get the main hot enough that it actually almost burns your tongue when you go to eat it. And you really want that. Um, it's just cold MREs, lukewarm MREs are the um, MRE mains are the worst. Just never going to taste good. You want to heat that, MR, that MRE uh, main up as hot as you humanly can. So we're going to go ahead and mix our cocoa. MRE spoon, standard. Every United States MRE. It is rock solid. Uh, it will not break on you unless you get really miserable with it. Uh, some of the foreign MREs and some of the cheap uh, rations you can buy for your home come with uh, spoons and they're weak and they break while you're eating your food. It's horrible. Uh, so we want to... You def I definitely respect the U.S. spoons. Uh, none of the stuff that comes in an MRE would require a stabbing type spork. You know, you don't really need the stabbing implement in this. And these MREs. The only thing I would have taken in the field would be a uh, cutting implement. Well, besides a field knife, which I didn't always have. So we mix it up. You want to mix this real good, and the hotter the water, the better the uh, cocoa will mix. Uh, the coffee, you'll never have a problem with it mixing. The cocoa's got. Uh, a lot of additives in it, unfortunately. So you've got to mix it real well. You don't want those chunks. It's the worst. Having a chunky cocoa beverage base is just nasty. So mix our lemonade. And moist toilets are always good. They're just like uh, any toilets you get at a restaurant or wherever. Uh, there's no chem there's no alcohol in them or anything, uh, so they're not real intrusive on your senses. They're fine. Oh, I heard thunder. Whoa, that was a loud thunderclap I just heard. I didn't, get, I didn't even know there was a storm nearby. All right, beverage-based lemonade. You might start hearing some thunder in the background here. Let's put our beverage-based lemonade. And never use ice cold water when you're mixing a drink like this. Never use ice cold water. It will ruin, uh, it will chunk up. It will not mix properly. You want to use room temperature water. And then if you have access to ice, which depending on where you are, you might not. Um, but if you've got ice cold water, you probably have access to ice. After it's mixed properly, then add your ice. Uh, because if you have water too cold, it just will not mix. It will chunk up and you'll have the settled flavor, the settled stuff at the bottom, so you won't get the right flavor because you just won't mix. It won't mix right. Now, this has actually got the normal lemonade um, color, which some of the old lemonades, uh, the ones that I was in, some of the ones when I went to drills were not normal lemonade color. This actually looks like real lemonade, which is a very positive sign. All right, cleaned it off so we don't mix cocoa and lemonade. Mix her up. You want to mix real good. Mix all these MRE drinks real well. The last thing you want is that grainy, chunky nastiness in your drink. It's just, it throws off your senses and tastes like heck. All right. So 
got cocoa, got a lemony, set that to the side, got our Skittles, set that to the side. Let's check out our peanut butter and our jam. So, this is the bread that you will see in most MREs. Um, kind of, I know it's a little funky looking, but this is shelf stable bread. It will last forever. Uh, I've seen Steve, Steve and Marie 1989 pull uh, the bread out of ancient rations, and it's still edible. You can clearly tell when they get moldy, but this stuff out of the new the new MREs, it does not get nasty. Man, that's really building up out there, starting to hear a lot of thunder. Hear that our neighbors making really loud sounds. So, let's check out our strawberry jam. This is what I'm super excited about. Rare to get the strawberries. Very rare. You get great more often than strawberry. And here we go. Oh, and you can see it's natural. You can see those chunks of, st of strawberry in there. Yum. I'm, I'm giving this a try. Excuse me. Wow. That jam is... Awesome. It's better than the stuff we have in a jar in the house here. Absolutely awesome. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, that's the kind of thing. Of all the stuff you get in an in MRE, even the skills, this kind of stuff you can trade for. Trade up for it. Hey, I'll trade you my, you know, whatever. I got something you want, you know, mixed berry or whatever. Having this kind of stuff is gold. Stuff that just has that great flavor. There's no preservative taste in this at all. And it does have preservatives in it. You know, it's got potassium sorbate and pectin. Um, but other than that, it's sugar, corn syrup, water citric acid and the main ingredient strawberries anytime strawberries is the number one ingredient and to me that's good and we got the peanut butter you know, peanut butter has a ton of preservatives in it well actually not that bad because peanut butter doesn't really go bad um, I've had peanut butter last forever you just stir it up on um, I've seen Steve go watch his channel he opens on um, old MREs and I remember he opened one for 19 40 something and the peanut butter was good he was able to eat it and had a great taste he just mixed it up uh, it comes with roasted peanuts uh, and it's sugar hydrogenated hydrogenated vegetable oil rapeseed cottonseed and soybean oils salt vitamin C vitamin A vitamin B thiamine and ingredients not regular peanut butter um, so that's it um, it's actually really good and you don't really have to knead it uh, when it's this new. It says knead before opening, but when they're this fresh, you don't have to. They come out perfectly fine. Uh, if they're older, uh, they'll be watery. You get water before you get uh, peanut butter. But there it is. Chunky peanut butter. It's like you got it out of the jar. It's good. Um, make sure... If you're eating the peanut butter out of these, make sure you got lots of water. If you're eating the bread or the peanut butter, and you have lots of water, it will make you very thirsty. You'll sop up all the water right out of your mouth. Oh, yeah. Great lemonade. All right. Let's try this cocoa. Oh yeah, tastes just like a very good cup of instant cocoa. Nothing wrong with that at all. No chemical taste, nothing. Getting these fresh is the best way. And yes, yeah, so a year old MRE is considered fresh. That's a little strange, but it's true. I forgot a bowl. Let me grab a bowl for this. We don't want to pour this on the plate. One moment.
My dog has figured out that I am eating food, and she is on station to beg. <laughs> I don't want to close the door on her, because when there's thunderstorms in the area, she gets real frightened. I don't want to kick her out of the room. Kind of mean. All right. Here in Tucson, we get loud, nasty monsoons. So there's our... Uh, Mixed fruit, as you can tell. It's just like uh, any other mixed fruit you get out of a, out of a, out of a uh, can. Perfectly good. You know, just like you get out of a can. At this point, uh, being this fresh, it doesn't mush up at all. Some of it can mush up when it gets older. Um, I'm gonna get rid of the peanut butter. Not that big of a chocolate peanut butter fan, uh, chunky peanut butter fan, but. I'm gonna finish the rest of this strawberry jam. Excuse me for a moment. Mm. Wow. Awesome. Um, you can make peanut butter and jelly. It's always nice. Um, it's actually very cuttable when it's fresh. Take a sharp knife, go down the center, if you're gentle with it, you can make peanut butter and jelly. But you have to have a really, really, really sharp knife. All right. Let's grab our main. It should be about hot by now. Usually it's five to ten minutes. We are fire hot. Man, this is hot. Whew. It's hard to touch. It's wet, but we didn't put so much water in there that uh, it's bubbling over. Here, Katie. Bread for you. <laughs> Here are the rest of the bread. She'll love that. I got a good dog. She's 11 years old. Uh, it's a big 70 pound black lab border collie. Big, big bark. Good dog. She's, uh, I think getting to the end of her days, though. She's, uh, she's 11. She's got lupus. She's kind of starting to fall apart a little bit, but she's a great dog. I'll miss her dearly when she's gone. So here's our main. It is not the prettiest when it comes out of the bag. Um, definitely has the look of something else that I won't mention uh, but it is actually pretty darn tasty MRE means you pretty much got to not look at them um, majority of the time I'll just if I'm you know if I was in the field eating them I would just leave them in the pouch eat them straight out of the pouch um, you don't get that everything thrown together look like that Sorry, I was cleaning up a little bit here. Get things out of my way. All right. I'll get more uh, practice at this as we go along. I got the A and B menus for the new, for the new line of these. Fortunately, I looked through them. They did not have the pizza. I was very disappointed. But then I found out the pizza is actually just released. So the ones with pack dates like twenty. 19, 20, excuse me, 2018 pack dates are the ones that are going to have those. You can order them, uh, or if you get lucky, you might get one of those cases in the field. So, here we go. Let's give this a try. This is the Asian style beef strips. And it's got noodles in there too, as you can see. You got noodles. Looks like peppers. Well, just probably egg noodles. Oh, there's mushrooms. Set those aside. Forgot there's mushrooms in this. Give it a try. 
Oh yeah. The same familiar taste. It's got a specific taste. Most of these MREs must be one preservative. Have a specific taste to them. Especially with meat. And uh, this doesn't have that Chef Boyardee taste, uh, feeling to the meat. It's not spongy. Like, uh, you know, it's not TV, it's not textured vegetable protein. This is actual real strips of beef. Uh, but the sauce that it's in has a specific flavor, a specific uh, hint to it. But it's still good. I'm not going to eat a whole ton of it. So it has mushrooms. The mushrooms give me a nasty after effect. Lightly allergic to them. I definitely avoid them at all, all costs. And I forgot these. this had mushrooms in it. As long as I don't eat the mushrooms themselves, I'm fine. Well, I might get a little scratchy throat later. Yep, awesome. Pretty good. Definitely edible. If you're out camping, that's more than doable. Let's try a noodle real quick, see if they're real mushy. Remember the noodles being mushy. No, it's not a noodle, it's chestnut. Or not, uh, what it's called, water. I can't remember what it's called. The, uh, the strips of uh, crunchy, like, watercress or whatever they're called. Alright, let's try our uh, mixed fruit. Hmm. It's exactly like mixed fruit right out of a... I better get a drink to get the beef flavor out of my mouth because that tastes a little odd. I'm liking that lemonade this time. It seriously tastes like drinking lemonade. Fresh lemonade. I'm shocked by how tasty it is. Alright. Oh yeah. Just like eating mixed fruit out of the can. Uh, you know, the regular can mixed fruit. Perfectly fine. That's a treat. That's great. I'd love... Yeah, this would be great to have in the field. Only problem is, if you're out here... When I did drills out here in uh, Arizona... Especially during the summer, all the emeries would be born. You know, this one's cool because I got it in a 76 degree house. But um, when they're warm, something like this, it definitely reduces its uh, appeal. Mm. Awesome. That's great. You can definitely taste a good bit of sugar in it. Um, but really, only said there's like 11 grams of sugar in it. It's not that bad. You know, it's normal for mixed fruit. Alright, so we got our Skittles left. And our gum. Of course, I'm not eating the whole thing. Not even close to the whole main. I don't want the, uh... I don't want to get backed up. And I know what parts will back you up. And the main generally is one of them. Plus, the mushrooms in there scare me. Uh, so... This is your colors. This is the tropical mix. Got pink, green, purple, red, and blue. Let's see how these they've handled. The older they get, they get pretty, pretty hard. Oh, perfect. Just take one bottom off the shelf. They're perfect. I don't think I could instantly win a movie ticket to Guardians of the Galaxy two. Maybe three. Now, that's a while off. Yeah, um, it's a good time. Great little treat to have in the field. I will never say excuse my eating sounds. This is Viking vs. Food. You don't expect eating sounds on Viking vs. Food. You're misguided. Turn out to be a complete slob. 
And the thing I don't like about Skittles is you chew them and then they turn into a ball of sugar in your mouth. I'm not a big fan of that. And last but not least, the gum. These do not have laxatives in them. Um, did some research on that. They do not have laxatives. Supposedly do, but trust me, I've been backed up from MREs and this has no effect to uh, reduce that. I ate with every MRE I've ever eaten. And uh, it's either the, uh, the, the clear one is just standard spearmint gum and the red one's cinnamon. It's still white, but it's in a red package, and it's cinnamon flavored. So, it's just bigger spearmint gum. Then we got a fresher taste than a three or four year old MRE. Tastes great. Everything in here, the inspect date on the main package was uh, on the main box. I believe it was November 2017, which in MRE terms is very fresh. Uh, this one was packaged 2017. Uh, oh, yeah. August 2017. Uh, September 2017. You can read it. Probably can't with this camera, but August 2017. So. It's a very fresh MRE. Very fresh. You eat food off the shelf that was packed well before that. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed this opening. We're going to wrap it up. Everybody have a great night. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Stay tuned. Peace.